Hello everyone, and wow, you're jumping, and welcome back to Boulevard of Glowing Dreams here in Stalker. Call of Ah, hey, hey, uh, pretty good. Um, been up to a few things. Uh, didn't catch it all on camera because it was mostly, mostly a bunch of uh, just run around quests and stuff. Um, one thing that did turn up, however, is... Ooh, I need to meet Grouse. And, yeah, this happened. Um, I wish I caught this on camera, but I went with Grouse, he's um, not just security dude, basically, um, to check out where a bunch of missing stalkers were going. And I think it was somewhere over here. Um, but we went to this old facility, it was like a radio tower. Uh, we went underground, and we found a whole ton of bloodsuckers. Fortunately for us, they were asleep. Um, Bloodsuckers, if you remember, are those things from the previous, uh, well, one of the previous episodes which made me freak the hell out because they're invisible, mostly. Um, although, I have been getting a lot better with my, uh... Run. I actually can't remember how to run. Hmm. X, there we are. Yeah, it's been a little time, it's been a little bit of time since I played this, um, last anyway. And my memory, as we know, is utterly abhorrent. Uh... Put those there. Yeah, a couple of boars. It's okay we can't, like, harvest anything from them. But, um... I have been getting a lot better with my guns, so we've got, uh, the AC-96 over 2. I presume that means something special, I don't know. Uh, which is sort of our sniper rifle at the moment. It's, a, it's actually an assault rifle, but it does well. And then we have the Eliminator, which is an upgraded a shotgun. So there it is. And I found out that... <laughs> for some reason this one came with a scope. I found out that if you run up to someone, pretty much Gordon Freeman style, and shoot them in the face with this, it's basically an instant kill. Makes a lot of things very easy. This will even take down uh, Bloodsuckers fairly easily. Oh, hello. Are they look coming at me? If they are, they're doing it at a very strange angle. Well, yes, they are. So, case in point. Shotguns do less damage at range, but uh, this one does not take very long to reload. <laughs> and now the guys from... Uh, that's the guys from Notches Burger. They're catching it with us. Yep. Down they go. Not a problem in the world. Except for ammo. But <laughs> okay, so. Uh, Grouse isn't. but hasn't let us know just yet where to meet up with him, uh, but we do happen to know that we need to go to the bridge, ooh, I've been there before, that's kind of annoying, uh, next to the scar to uh, pick up the poison we need to basically murder all of the, uh, all of the bloodsuckers. So let's hop over here again, and talk to one of our... Look it! Weapons oh. are for killing mutants, and you won't find any sorry, in sorry. here, so put it away now, will Sorry, you? sorry, sorry. Uh, are you... The boss is over there. Ooh. Go talk to him. That wasn't good. Ooh. Uh... Where did he say the boss was? Oh, that's right over there. I need to talk to one of the guys so I can get a ride over to that anomaly. Save me some time. What you? Uh, what are you up to? I need to go someplace. What? Huh? What happened there? Oh, you walked too far away, I see. Uh, whoop. Hail and will make. Yeah, could you maybe stand still so I can talk to you? Yeah. Honestly. These military Russian dudes. Oh, that can't be good. That's probably the beginnings of a blowout, and I definitely don't want to be around here when one of those takes off. Now ah, there he is. Oh, nimble. I may need to talk to him later to, to actually buy a sniper rifle. Okay, dude, need to talk to you. 
I'm listening. Hello. Uh, Claude Sawmill. Mm. Uh, we're in place to go. Okay, so where is the scar anomaly? Oh, it's. Looks like it's directly behind us. Uh, ah, okay, so there's us. And we need to go past the dock cranes to the bridge along that road past the ranger station. Okay, wait. Well, some things I remember. Uh, dude, could you quickly hop me over to the ranger station, please? Yeah, that's fine. I can pay for that. Oh, balls. Okay, well, I know that that golden arrow on my HUD there is going to show me where the uh, nearest safe zone is, and also I've been here before. Uh, it is right over here. Okay, so we'll just stay sheltered in here, and we'll take some anti rad meds. Uh, let's see, that's F3. There we go. Ha! All good. Uh, yeah, that's going to put a damper on doing things today, isn't it? Hmm. Life in the zone, I'm afraid. Uh, so yeah, this is one of those uh, events that happens in the zone quite a bit. It's the most mild, really. Um, it's it's more of an annoyance. If you had enough, if you had enough rad meds and whatnot, you can just walk around happily with it. Um, but I don't want to burn through mine, even though I've got six of them. Uh, the next one up, sort of, is the Psy Storm, uh, which will fry your brain quite happily. Um, and after that is the blowout. You may wonder what a blowout looks like. Um. If one happened on camera, you would get some pretty awesome foot too. That's not good. Please be looking for show. God. I'm all ears, buddy. What? No. Seriously? Oh, that's combat music. Okay. Ow. Ow. What? Oh, someone's. It's, it's, what the hell, dude? I will shoot you in your face. Well, hello. All right, fine. Oh, balls. Dude. Basically, they die. And you're dead. Thank you. Now, we still have radiation to worry about, so shut up, all of you. I don't feel like growing a tumor anywhere. Search the body. Yeah. And you don't have any use for the ammo. Not think anyone else coming up. Woohoo! Okay, let's just grab that and sort out what we don't need later. This dude was carrying a bunch of stuff. Oh, wow, that looks nice. Futuristic looking weapon with a bullpup layout. Oh, great. Much reduced. What? Oh, dude, are you okay? Medkits. Sure, take a med kit. Dude. I have no idea what you're saying. Jeez, that dude was bad off. Oh, Fallout is done. Good. Means I can leave here. Okay, so. We need to head past here, so we need to go back to the road. Oh, sure, now. Oh, I'm overburdened. Oh, it's probably that new gun. Oh, hello, it's also this one. Uh. Drop. How are we doing now? Better, at least. Okay, not fantastic, but better. There are some artifacts you can carry that will reduce your load, uh, that will increase your load capacity, rather. But uh, we don't have them, predominantly because we don't have anything to... Ooh. Should have gone indoors, dude. Uh, okay, so where do we need to go? Oh, there we go. That's one up. Uh, just follow the road, basically. Great. Okay. Seems straightforward. Uh, not exactly sure what that arrow is pointing towards. I don't seem to be able to control it, and it just sort of clicks to whichever is nearest, I suppose. 
Uh, not sure which way it's pointing. Hmm. Oh, well, I need to worry about that. So keep going. One thing I did find out I've been carrying for a while actually is uh, not the vodka, not the energy drink. Uh, I must I must put it into storage. I've been carrying. I've apparently been carrying like a really super powered. Um, it's called Goliath, <laughs> which should give you some idea of what it is. Uh, oh, I remember this. I got chased across it by some dudes. <laughs> yeah, it's cut. This this bridge is covered in anomalies, which makes it really annoying to cross. Uh... Yeah. Way. Not that way. Not that way. Don't really want to go that way either then. There isn't any way to really stop these of any kind, so you kinda just have to deal. I think we're through the worst of that, so that's something. Uh, but a lot of the times with these kind of feet in the sky. A lot of times with these kinds of fields. You just have to keep moving and then hope you don't get caught by the worst of it. Well, oh, and there is our point. Great. It's on the bridge. Okay, so it's around here. There should be some poison that we need to pick up. I presume it's actually in this car. Yep, looks like it. There's locked two keys I needed to open it. Find a way to open the gas canister container. Okay. Uh, do we have an update on that then? Uh, I guess we'll have to talk to uh, Grouse then. Oh, that storm really does not sit well with me. Oh, of course, there's one right over here. I think we're okay there. I really want to get near some kind of shelter before that goes off, whatever it is. Oh, that's mine. Is there an ammo type here that does not get used by anything? There is these, apparently. So, drop those. And drop those. That cuts our weight down a little bit. Okay, so we need to find Grouse, basically. And I don't know where he was. Or where, rather, where he went. Whoop. Uh, that was the sound of gunfire. Storms in the zone are always things to be worried about. Because, um, fallouts, uh, well, the uh, blowouts are basically gigantic radioactive electrical storms and they have a bright red sky like, like things are on fire and they're often precluded by lightning really really dangerous things there is actually where there are ways to survive them I should clarify but uh, generally speaking you don't <laughs> um, you can have, like, uh, enough rad meds, and you can have um, a bunch of uh, artifacts to help you out, but generally speaking, when you're out in a blowout, you die. Oh, hello, it's one of the anomalies. A 
Okay, so we'll ever find an artifact again. Or we will... Oof, light environment again. Or we will find our way back to Shevchenko. Or Skodovsk. That's one. Skodovsk, of course. I keep getting those two mixed up lately, I'm not sure why. Now, there's usually a patrol around here. Oh, I think it may have been the, the one we can't, the one that we got over here on kind of seems to have died in the radiation. Because they didn't take shelter like smart people. Or rather, they didn't stay in shelter after I shot people in the face. But hey, it was their fault they kept trying to knock me out. Oop. Oh, I'm picking one up. It's an odd direction. Is that a meat chunk? Uh, no. Stone blood. Chemical protection, little bit of radiation. Reddish formation of compressed and fossilized plants, soil, and animal debris can partially neutralize chemical poisons. Like the... one of the ones that's underneath the burnt farm... the, uh, burnt farmhouse. Uh, is there anyone around, or am I gonna have to run all the way back to Skodolsk? May well have to. Although there's a there's an old gas station up there, we might find some help there. Uh, I have to say the app, the app, uh, one of the mods that I have installed is called Atmosphere. Um, fear, as in like the emotion, not as in sphere, the uh, actual like uh, the atmosphere, um, or the hydrosphere, or the troposphere, and such. Um, which really increases the the uh, in, in, really increases the authenticity and whatnot, the lighting and the uh, weather effects and such. Dude, I need your help. Quit going around. Okay, what are you up to? Need to go someplace. Skodovsk. Five hundred's fine. I can pay for that. I can probably pay for that with the artifact I just found, actually. Okay, and we're back. Whoa, and it is bad over here. Yeah, that's where that's one of the reasons that I added the mod, because it makes this place look so much cooler. Of course it adds a slight chance that they'll murder me. Uh where is Grouse? Hey Stalker. Uh, How are you? Dude, uh pilot. Howdy ho! Uh, oh right, this is the dude that gets us to the next area of the zone. Uh, this is pilot, he takes us to over to uh, Yanov where we still have to investigate uh some I don't know how leaves get here. Uh, well, we still have to investigate some of those plane, those uh, helicopters that came down. Well, good luck to you. Uh, Gunter, Garmata, Sp Spartacus. Hey, dude, how are you? Oh, fair enough, fair enough. We can talk later. Hey, bro. I'm listening. Uh, Vitalik Dragon. Nope. Uh, snag. <laughs> you, I remember. Had to do a mi had to do a I'll mission for him. Which involved uh, almost getting hoodwinked by another stalker for an, an, item, for an artifact. Uh, I can always sleep in there. Oh! The doctor's gone somewhere. Hmm. It's unusual. So, you got. Uh, I need information. No, oh, but apparently I can't get anything. Okay, um. Right, well, Grouse appears to be on complete walkies, so I guess we're not going to complete that mission today. Oh, and this is Carden, who uh, handles most of our modifications. So he's the one responsible for upgrading basically everything I own, which is nice. He's really cool, although for some reason he works better when he's hammered on vodka. Uh, which reminds me... Better do some trading. Oh, can't trade that with you. I can, however, trade that, but I'm not going to, because that's for Notch. Okay, and let's trade those. Although, how much would you give me? 1760, so yeah, that would pay for my transit and then some. Oh, and apparently I grabbed a couple of bear detectors at some point as well. There we go. Yep, see, 12, 7, 12 6, 70, so I've got plenty to be uh, passing through on uh, our little guides. Don't let the door which I imagine is intentional, through. but who knows. Not G. Welcome aboard our swamp ice. Trade. Holy hell. <laughs> um, accuracy is lower, damage is lower. Firing rate is way up. Huge magazine size. Weight 8.8 .8 kilograms. Whew, not likely. Sell. Thank you. 
Okay. Uh, if you need gravity bubble, no, I don't know where to get any of those. Uh, you actually, I un I unlocked the uh, go fetch me an artifact quest with Notch here, but um, the ones that he asks for can't be detected by the tier of detector that we have. There was the previous one that we had, so there's this one, and then there's a much better one that's more modern and able to detect pretty much everything, but we haven't been able to get it Drop yet. In, if something interesting in fact, that's why... Won't be going anywhere, that's oh yeah. Sure. Uh, that's why I had that quest earlier of uh, to go and get the flame artifact. I can't actually detect or find the flame artifact. But those particular quests go out to a bunch of people. And the main thing is you have to get to them first, or get them on route, and then bring them back to uh, Notch here as quick as you can to get more money. Those stalkers have the detector, so I, my plan was to wait for an update on it, go and catch them out, and steal it, basically. Not the most honorable thing, I admit. But, uh, looks like we're not going to uh, get much done. Time money, get talking. No? Uh, Captain Vyoshinki, from duty. Uh, Slava Kebi. What's new? Not much, I'm just looking for grouse. Uh, actually, can I see grouse from here? Hmm. No trace of Danilo the hunter in the antenna complex building, however, Grouse seems to be for what you find inside, and I asked you to meet him later to discuss the matter in more detail. But I don't know where that's going to happen, because it's not this little thing on the side. Hmm. So we can't really do that yet. Can I get the guys kind of just lofting to find a way to open it? And apparently no one can tell us that. Uh, hmm. I guess we'll have to meet up with them later. Although, speaking of meetups, um... The weekend of when I put this video up, I think, is the Insomnia Gaming Festival, also known as, as uh, Minecon UK, um, which I will be in attendance of for all three days of it. Uh, I'm going to be camping, so that'll be lovely. Uh, but I'll be going down with the 8-bit monkey and whatnot. I've put up a video beforehand uh, related, tagged onto the end of a bit of uh, Kerbal Space Program stuff. Ooh, I'm hungry. Uh, let's eat some giant sausage. Um. But I don't know yet the specifics on how Insomnia is arranging its meeting zone. It hasn't it has specifically set aside a meeting zone for YouTubers and whatnot to have their fans like come and talk to them. And I have a, quite a collection of stuff here. Soul Soul is an interesting one. Health restoration increases, but it gives you more radiation. So kind of mm, odd one. Fireball. I don't think that's the first fireball we got. Wait, so I'm getting sidetracked, aren't I? Um, Insomnia has already a list of people, which people are going to be in that meeting zone on a on a given day, uh, but I don't know the circumstances of how they're going to be in there. I don't know if there's like a one gigantic table or different segmented tables around the area. I don't know if the area is indoors or outdoors, and I also do not know the times that anyone's going to be there. Um, so I'm pretty much just going to have to set a standard, set a standard here of I will be in that meeting zone every day of the convention, um, around about noon. Uh, so, if you happen to be there, and you want to catch up with me, or uh, get something signed, I don't know. I don't know why anyone comes to see me. Um, some people are flying from abroad to see me, which is crazy, really, <laughs> from my view. Um, but uh, if you want to catch up and hang out for a little bit, then I'll be at the meeting zone, middle of the day, I don't know if I can wake up that early, but I'll try. <laughs> um, and I'll probably pass there through there a few more times during the day, just to see if anyone's hanging about. And to catch up with some other guys that might be there, because Dave and some of the Minecraft guys are going to be hanging there for a bit. Uh, and so you can catch me then. So, not the most specific of plans, I realize, and I'm sorry I couldn't give you more specific details. Uh, but, yeah, hope to see you all there. And I shall catch you next time. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and or a favorite. Follow me on Twitter and subscribe to be notified of future updates. You can also check out the website where most other content is uploaded. That's all for now, catch you later.